Hey guys, what's going on? This is George from TechLawyer.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer easily data that includes media, photos, videos from your Android device directly to your Mac and vice versa. So let's get started. Now, that's a very interesting topic and many people out there are having trouble transferring data from Android to Mac or vice versa. And actually, it is a very tricky topic because there doesn't exist any software which does this job fluently without any issues, just like iTunes work. Now, the best software which is free and somewhat reliable is called Android File Transfer. Now, I know there are many cases of Android file transfer not working or showing those annoying pop-ups and messages saying it doesn't work and that and this and this. But there are ways around it and fix those annoying restrictions and issues that Android file transfer adds and make it work. But it is what it is and is the best way to, to get this work. So without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and download Android file transfer on our Mac through, through the official website. And the link is down in the description. And as you can see, there are some instructions here which we're gonna go through them. And also we're gonna go through some error cases which could occur and how to bypass them. So go ahead and hit on this big download now button. Once you do that, then go ahead and uh, open the DMG file to install the software. Once this window opens, then just move the file directly to the applications folder. In my case, I'm just going to replace it, so I'm going to start from all over the beginning. Okay, so now on your Android device, you need to go ahead and, uh, and enable USB debugging. So to do that, we first need to go to the settings by either going to search through apps and going to settings, or by scrolling down the notification bar and going to the little icon on the top right of the screen. And scroll down until you find where it says Apple About Device. Scroll down until you find Software Info. And then press seven times on where it says Build Number. And after that, Developer Options should appear on the, on the, main, on the, on the main menu. Then go to Developer Options and scroll down until you find USB Debugging. Make sure USB Debugging is enabled. At this point, it's time to go ahead and plug in your Android device to your Mac. Right now, as soon as you see this message, make sure to press on allow. And after that, to prevent any further issues occurring with Android file transfer, you need to enable, you need to tell Android that you want to transfer our files by using the MTP protocol. So to do that, scroll down uh, to, to the notification bar and, and select this notification right here, transfer media files by USB and make sure that the first option is selected, which says transfer media files, transfer media files to PC via an MTP connection, because that's the, that's the protocol that Android file transfer wants in order to successfully connect your device to your Mac and for Android file transfer to fully understand the connection. So choose the first option, and now everything should work. Okay, so right now your Android device will be connected to your computer and now we're ready to go ahead and uh, open, open up Android file transfer and see what happens. So, so right now you should go to, to your application folder and locate Android file transfer. And then this message should pop up. Make sure to click on open. And now as you can see Android file transfer has successfully opened and now it, it displays everything from the root directory of your Android device. So that means it displays all the files uh, stored on your Android device. And from here, you can delete files, uh, transfer files. For example, you can even transfer directories. So let's say you want, to, you, can, you, can, you want to transfer this directory to your desktop. You can just drag and drop this uh, folder. And then the folder uh, should appear on the desktop. And when you open it, you should have the same files as you have on your Android device. The same thing can happen, can happen with individual files. So let's say you want, you want to transfer this file here. And if you want to transfer photos and videos, which is the most, uh, the most popular option in, for this video, uh, you should go to where it says DCIM. You, do the, you click on the drop down, and then you click on the drop down on the camera. Now, sometimes, bear in mind, if you have, so, if you have many photos or many videos on your Android device, it will, this will take some time to read all the files. And from here, you can do the same business. You just do the drag and drop version. 
you drag and drop some images and then you should see them on your on your desktop and now the same thing you transfer files from your android device to your mac this same business can happen by transferring uh, one book directly to the root folder of my android device in your case you could create a folder and you just move the file into that folder that you just created and now again back to our android device let's go ahead and see how you can access the files that you have moved from your mac to your android device now we have moved a file called books.pdf to our root folder on our device so let's see how we can do it so you go to apps and then you need to find an app called files so you need to navigate to your files and in my case this app can be found on the samsung folder and on my file and into the my files app Okay, and then you should go to internal storage. And here's where you can and here this is all the all the directories which or folders which you see on Android file transfer. In our case, the, the file that we have just moved in is called books.pdf. So we can uh, so we can open it and let's go on where it says drive PDF UF. Okay, now due to copyrights, I'm not gonna display the file, but this is the actual the actual book that I have transferred from my Mac to my Android device. And this can also be other, other stuff like photos, videos, music, and you name it. And that's the most reliable way, which is free uh, to do this job. There are other applications such as AirDroid, ShareIt, and Commander One, uh, SyncMate, which are paid apps. You have to pay for these apps in order to, uh, in order to uh, access the full version of them. I didn't have any luck finding I, uh, an app which you can transfer stuff wirelessly which is which is both reliable and free but i will still continue with my research and if i find one which is very reliable and actually works for many devices i will definitely make a video of it and that's pretty much concludes this video that's pretty much everything i wanted to show you guys for today please let me know down in the description if you have any questions any problems any issues i'll try my best to to answer them furthermore if you're a new visitor to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it in order to receive notifications for our latest videos and content. And on top of that, don't forget to visit our platform to see our latest articles and also join our forum to ask any questions you might have. Furthermore, don't forget to like this video if you find this joyful and helpful. And don't forget to share this to your friends if they also are experiencing the same issues. Thanks for watching and as always, I'm going to see you to my next video.